Hello, Wolf back. I wanted to do a quick Quant video because Quant is setting up uh, for something pretty interesting, a pretty decent uh, trading opportunity potentially, depending on how you look at it. Um, obviously, there's a lot of different ways you can draw this uh, descending wedge formation. Uh, and the way I've drawn it might not be particularly correct, but it is how I have it right now, and it's how I'm willing to draw it right now. I've got a descending wedge formation that's been forming since uh, early September, uh, ever since that initial run-up that a lot of you would have remembered. Um, and it's kind of coming to a bit of a interesting spot right now as we retest the bottom area. We've actually dropped below the wedge, uh, and we've formed a miniature uh, descending wedge within the actual descending wedge structure. So we've got kind of two descending wedges going on right now. Uh, the reason why I'm interested in quant, uh, and I wouldn't be interested in it if this wasn't happening, but it is happening. The reason why I'm interested in quant right now is because we've had this drop below the wedge, um, but in this drop below, we actually saw a bullish divergence on the RSI on the daily chart uh, and on the 4 hourly chart that we'll look at in a second. Um, and we've also managed to jump back above the wedge and we're currently retesting it for support uh, on the inside. So I'm, I'm not entering the trade right now, right? Just full disclosure, not entering the trade right now. What I would be waiting for, okay, in a few scenarios, and this is if I enter it to begin with, what I would be waiting for is a successful uh, you know, close above the wedge once again on this daily candle close, uh, and then hopefully some green candles after that. Another thing I'd be waiting for is a break of this miniature wedge that we're seeing within the bigger wedge. Another thing I'd be waiting for is uh, the break of the actual wedge, and if you really wanted to be conservative, another thing you'd be waiting for is a puncture of the POC at around $292, or even up here at around $306, which is basically the POC as well. Uh, once you get above that region, which I'll map out right now at around $208, uh, sorry, $308, uh, you're probably going to look to go for the sky, right? Even on these uh, miniature wicks above this region, we wicked up, you know, 10% 10, 10 each time. We've got a 10% there, we've got an 8% there, uh, we've got a 8% uh, there as well, and right here we have... A solid 5%. So once we get above that $308 region, it typically is a time for a bit of a rally on quant. So that's what I'd be looking for um, if I was conservative before an entry. And it, it does pay to be conservative uh, because swing trades, it's not all about making a 50% profit. It's about getting in and getting out with at least something, right? And so being conservative is never a bad thing. And you have to keep in mind that even a, you know if you enter at 308 USD, once we close above that point, uh, you're still going to be copying... You know, a minimum of a, a minimum of those ten percent gains, but also you have to uh, remember that three hundred eight USD isn't actually that far above the breakout point of the wedge itself. And so, if you extrapolate the data from the first retest of the bottom to the first retest of the top, right, we'll make this line uh, pink so it's easy to see, and extrapolate that to the breakout point, right. So, assuming it happens, maybe let's assume it happens on December the fourth, right, December the third, it was still expected to go up to around four hundred USD, right. So, there's plenty of room to move. Um, another area where I'd be potentially interested in picking up some quant, and this this is a bit a bit more of a uh, skeptical area, but the point is, we have a support block that we've formed on quant between around 217 USD and around 200 USD, and we've dipped into there once, and we've bounced off that support block pretty easily, so if we go into that region again, and the market looks kind of okay, i uh, probably look, look to pick up some quant there, because we could cop a short-term bounce like we've seen right now. Uh, it wouldn't be as dramatic, because we've already seen a bounce, but it would be something at the very least. Now, that's why I'm interested in quant on the daily chart. If we look at the four hourly chart, we can see it a bit more clearly. And one of the reasons why I'm interested in holding this uh, wedge for support on this daily candle close before even considering an entry is because on the four hourly chart, we can see that we have the 26 SMA and the 12 SMA on the wedge, right? So if we hold this for support into the daily candle close, we would have successfully held the 12 and the 26 for support, and we'll have a significant amount more support than we would otherwise have if we drop below it. If we drop below this region, there's really no guarantee uh, that we won't be stopping the drop until this yellow line back here. So it's not a risk we're willing to take. We'll be waiting for the daily candle close, and even then there's more consideration to take into account. So another reason uh, why I'm interested in quant as well is the four hour chart uh, a little bit more so than the the daily chart has a very very clear uh, bullish divergence on quant which we've drawn out there with a pink line uh, and you can see the price moving downwards and the bullish and the RSI moving upwards so that's a clear bullish divergence uh, we're waiting for the daily candle close above uh, this this uh, descending wedge line and then we'll also be reevaluating the market in the morning if the market looks terrible uh, by the time the daily candle closes in 19 hours and quant 
want closes above the line, that's not going to be a good entry zone, right? So it doesn't just depend on that. That's the thing about swing trading, guys. Uh, there's lots of different factors to take into account. You can't just look at one chart. You have to look at dozens. But the point is, I'm presenting you guys with a trading idea. Uh, I think it's potentially promising. It's definitely worth keeping an eye on, uh, especially if you're looking for a trade right now and have some money on the sidelines. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.